Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we will look at saving a spreadsheet that contains a macro as a macro enabled file. Now I have a spreadsheet open at the moment which is currently in the state of after the very first video where we have recorded or we have written a macro and at the moment it's still as a .xlsx type file type so it's a normal spreadsheet but it contains a macro if I was to go up and look at saving this file with my floppy disk button at the top there immediately I should get this warning where Excel warns me that there is a VB project on here and that I shouldn't save it as a macro free workbook if I want to continue saving as macro free I could click yes um, but otherwise I should click no and choose macro enabled from the file type list if I save as a macro free workbook it will remove my macro so that is not a good idea and if we're saving macros to files we have to save them as macro enabled files very good that we get this warning so that's kind of protecting us in a way from such a mistake but important that we do so now I could click no here and it would immediately take me to um, sorry it immediately take me to my save as dialog box alternatively I could look at doing that manually just through file save as uh, I'm going to click no as I'm at this stage so I get the save as dialog box which you know will be familiar with anyhow depending on the version of Windows you have it may look a bit different to this but you know saving just as any file and what I'm going to do is down the bottom here where it's currently saving as an Excel workbook I'm going to change that to an Excel macro enabled where are you workbook which is a .xlsm extension I'll click that and I'll keep it as the same name protect formulas that will that will work just fine and I'm going to save that so now it's a, a .xlsm file type and I'll look at closing that file down so now we've saved it it's going to keep the macro so that it will be available in future versions if I close that file down and look at opening that file up again protect formulas it merely opens back up notice that I get what they call a message bar I believe this yellow bar along the top the security warning saying that macros have been disabled would I like to enable them save it as a macro enabled file seeing a .xlm extension at the top there which you may not see on your version of Excel the setting you can choose on or off does not initially you know immediately enable them if I send this to to Fred who works in the Hong Kong office then you know the macro is not going to be immediately available to him or well, depends on his security settings to be fair but it is there they would have to enable them you know this is a security feature to ensure that if you've downloaded this file off the internet or you've been emailed it from somebody you've not met before a new client maybe then you're initially protected it might be dangerous unfortunately people do use this as a way of delivering malicious software so you do have to be careful it is programming but for the most part in a business scenario you probably know this individual it may even be yourself uh, and we can enable it just to mention on that scenario there that if I go into my file tab and if I go uh, to my options button and into the trust center trust center settings and I have this macro settings option because you can change your macro security settings now this is probably controlled by IT within your company so it's not my place to tell you what you should or should not do here or even if you're able to do it that should be controlled centrally but from a personal viewpoint you know it's up to you what you do here notice the uh, the option to enable all macros and you'll never get that setting again can be chosen they say it's not recommended you know Microsoft aren't going to say oh yeah go and do that 
because we, you know, you could be sent something malicious. It's potentially dangerous. So the default and the one I keep, because I get sent a lot of files, is to disable all macros but with the notification. But there are other settings there where you can full on disable them or allow everything should you should you be that uh, that free in your life. But that is us saving it as a macro enabled file essential if you do have a macro on a file.